This is Richard Allen at OculusSurge.com. This video demonstrates removal of a glaucoma drainage implant at the time of evisceration surgery. I believe that all periocular form bodies should be removed at the time of enucleation or evisceration. A 360 degree conjunctival pyridomy is performed and the implant is exposed superiorly. The conjunctiva in these cases can be thin and adherent to the globe due to the previous surgery. Dissection is carried out subconjunctively along the anterior surface of the implant. The tissue can be adherent to areas of the previously placed sutures. Blunt Westcott scissors are then used to dissect beneath the implant along the surface of the sclera. The tube is prolapsed from the eye which can result in the eye deflating. The medial and lateral edge of the implant are identified and dissected from the adjacent tissue. Additional dissection is carried out on each side of the implant. At times, you can encounter a large reservoir. There are suture holes with adherent scar or sutures that need to be released. Once the implant is freed, it can be sent to the pathologist for gross examination and the remainder of the surgery can proceed.